Hello and welcome to Horror Rewind. This is Kelly Florence. And I'm Meg Hofdahl. And today we're talking about all sorts of things, but it, uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're talking about blood rage. Yeah, blood rage. That's how some of us will feel at Thanksgiving with our family. Yeah. You now, know, it's it's kind of a, I don't know. I don't know if I like the title. I don't feel, I don't feel it really captures blood rage. I feel like it needs a better title. What do you think? What, what would you like to retitle it? I think it needs the word revenge in it. Oh, because it's very, but it's also kind of not revengey, I guess, because you think it's revenge. Like you think that the twin is seeking revenge, but maybe not, but maybe I'm jumping ahead. Maybe we should like talk about this movie first before I get there. I had the pleasure and privilege of watching this movie for our very first Thanksgiving episode of for a rewind, but I recorded it on my own because you weren't available. Yeah. <laughs> and well, so it was a brief, it was a brief episode. We talked about lots of things on there. We meaning, I think Campbell came on for a bit and Nate had a segment. <laughs> it's fine. But friends were, we did a proper watch. Meg had never seen this and I freaking loved it. I, told her this is like camp and everything you want it's it's like sleepaway camp and invasion of the blood farmers and blood hook it's like those 80 slasher well dead yeah it makes me think of that with the the effects the practical effects and like yeah. the ambitious they are like they're very ambitious about their kills which i always really appreciate oh fun kills are the best and it's gory. Yeah. yes it's so fun I you haven't seen it. Go watch it immediately and then come back and listen to this episode. Yeah, it's on Tubi, so you can watch it for free. Um, I think my favorite part about watching it is that we watched it together. And so that made it even more fun because we were just reacting together and it was the best. It's and like yeah, every time we watch Ghoulies go to college. I know. <laughs> it's a <laughs> transcendent experience. Yes. Yeah. Um uh yeah, I mean I First of all, it really is a Thanksgiving horror movie. It takes place at Thanksgiving. So you have the vibe, which I really appreciate. I mean, it's like in California or something. So maybe they could have like used a few more leaves or something. But overall, I think it's very Thanksgiving-y. And the mom gives such a performance. Oh, she's my just God. doing the screen up. I mean, she's just, wow. And the twins? Twins are just inherently creepy. No offense out there, but... I think we can all agree on that. And the fact that he like, they put the wrong twin in the asylum or wherever you want to call it. I mean, perfect setup for a horror movie. Oh, it's so good. And he was pissed because mama had a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. He he had some serious like Freudian issues going on um, about his mom. Which they didn't thankfully explore too deeply, but um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. I mean, what made this movie so delightful were the kills and just the the acting. There's so oh, yeah. much heart. They're taking it seriously. Yeah, it is they're not tough. They're not. This is not like camp where like they're winking to the camera. No, no, no. Mm -mm. it is so over the top, heartfelt, like the other movies I mentioned, where it's just like. Let's do this. It's going to be the greatest thing yeah. ever. And yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah. One of my favorite parts, this is um, not a kill. I love the kills too. Is just that mama like keeps cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> That's for like hope. Well, as, as she gets drunker and drunker. Yeah. And she's like sitting on the floor eating. <laughs> oh, that's a great. Now that I can relate to. I can relate to sitting in front of the fridge. Eating. the cleaning I wish I did that when I was drunk I do not but <laughs> that would be a good habit um yeah I she's just so extra it's she's it's worth it for her alone and then we I'm to beat her and saw that she'd been married to Woody Allen which was yeah. random but I'd never heard of her before no um yeah no this movie was a delight and I I think I need to make it like a Thanksgiving tradition um I saw a 
TikTok. So this is not my content. This was somebody else who came up with this, but it was Thanksgiving horror movies. So I was going to ask you if you've seen these other ones, because I've only seen one other one. So they had Blood Rage on there. Um, the only one I had seen was Black Friday, the one with Devin Sawa and Bruce Campbell. And then the other ones they suggested were Christy, um, which I have not seen. I think it takes place at a college over like Thanksgiving weekend or something. You know, I think I've seen it, but I don't remember. Okay. And Pilgrim is a newer one. I, I keep getting that pop up on my Hulu. Yeah. It's from like 2021, I think. Yeah. It's, um, she said that it was about um, pilgrim reenactors. Oh. coming to like Thanksgiving dinner at people's house or something. So okay. I don't know. Well, it could be interesting. No, it's I'm like, in. I'm in. Now. Yeah. I think it was those Blumhouse ones that movies that came out. Like they had all oh, the yeah. movies out. And there were a lot of like seasonal ones like Valentine's Day and Christmas and stuff. So I think I might have to check that out. And then the other one was Thanks Killing, which I have not seen either. And it, it looks a little more cheeky, a little more like wink to the camera. No, it's terrible. I started it and I couldn't. Oh, it. okay. What was bad about it? There's a breast out woman running through a cornfield. When you and said not out, it was like a turkey joke, but I it was wish. a <laughs> No, it's, I literally couldn't watch it. Okay, okay. And then All when right. I asked uh, co-horror friends about it, they're like, that's the trashiest trash. Oh, okay. Well, I think I might try Pilgrim and yeah. or Christy and see what that's about. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, now I want to talk to you about Chucky. No, we. I was just going to say this is our transition because... Last night was the Christmas episode. Oh, I didn't watch it. No, we haven't watched it yet because this is Thanksgiving that this is airing. So last night in oh in like a time warp. <laughs> in a time warp, I'm like, what? It was <laughs> so that speaking of holiday. But yes, let's talk about Chucky. Friends, if you were not watching Chucky, what are you doing? It is so freaking cute and gory and great. Okay, spoiler alert, everyone, because I'm going to talk about, like, up until this point, even though it's after the Christmas party episode, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Not, none of us um, have. Well, if you were, if you yeah, are in the future, you people, have. So I can't talk about that. But up until the, the last episode, um, Devin Sawa exploded. That was fun. Chucky, I love you so much. I love good Chucky with evil Chucky inside him, like having those these like evil moments, but then he's good again. And then you don't know if you should trust him. Oh my like, God, it's so cute. Oh, and like anytime Chucky's basically doing anything, I'm in love. Like, I just think oh. he's so cute. Like um, when he killed the one with with um cyanide or something like that, he was so cute when he was dying. I know. And um, oh my gosh, just every moment, like when he was like literally being raised by the power of Christ or or a demon, I don't know, like <laughs> exorcist style. Oh my god, Chucky, I love you so. Much. I cannot get over it. Like I am audibly going mm -hmm. through every emotion loudly mm -hmm. watching every episode and we were watching them in like the middle of the day so it doesn't even matter it's not yeah. like oh, you're just tired no I'm it, this is freaking glorious content oh my god I love it and what a great job they've done of developing all the characters around him making it this really diverse interesting world of characters We've got Jennifer Tilly, like, in the role of a lifetime. Oh, I my God. love it. I love it. And she makes fun of herself. And, like, her sister was in all those episodes when oh she got God. killed. Like, just, oh, oh, my God. Just so meta. I love and, it. Like, and poor Andy and, like, little Chucky, oh. like, roasting his flesh. I know. I like, know. what? I know. And, like, somebody, I think it was, like, Michael Kennedy on Twitter was, like, Brad Dourif, like, doing all these voices of different Chuckies. Like, yeah. holy crap. Now, here's the thing, and I know it's never going to happen, and I know people don't respect award shows, but, like, if 
they actually gave the awards to the people who deserve them, uh, most of them would be horror actors. I know. That woman with blood rage would have a fucking Oscar right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, but Brad, like, we don't deserve him. Oh. Oh, I just love Chucky so much. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I had a, a good day. I caught up on two episodes and, um, and now I want more and I have to wait until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why we're coming to you from the future in the past. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's, let's keep it short because everyone's like going to go eat their turkey now. So Meg, on a mm-hmm. scale of zero to 10, zero being you hated it, 10 being it's a perfect movie. What do you rank blood rage and what's our scale? I mean, I think it has Grand to be the hands. Oh, the hat the, the hand hand with, the, with the old style beer. Yeah, like yeah, switching. Okay. And cranberry sauce dripping down the side, and that's not cranberry sauce. Yeah. Um, see, this is tough because this is tough because here's the thing. You know, I give tens to like your midnight masses, your midnight club, your hereditary. Like this is hard because it's like, can I give this movie a 10? Yes. You yes can. Out of enjoyment. Yes. Out of enjoyment. Yes. yes. If I was actually rating it against movies, like I wouldn't give it a 10 because it's, you know, it's not, it's not like directed by Mike Flanagan or anything. It's not high art. But, yeah. Yeah. But it's, I enjoyed the fucking hell out of myself. So there, that's a 10, 10, 10. I'm giving it a 10 as well. Um, and again, yeah, we can love Nope and Us and Get Out. Yeah. And ghoulies go to college and blood rage <laughs> and invasion of the blood farmers all at the same we time. Can, we can love it all at the same time. We can even rate them the same if we want, because you can't change our minds. There you go. Yeah. Um, we hope that you are eating well today, friends. We hope you are with loved ones. We hope you have an amazing week. And until next time, we'll see you in the horror section. Bye.